Welcome back to Learning with Liam. I finally got back to the gym. This is my second day of going, but this morning started off with a panic. I got up around seven and I was telling myself that I was gonna go to the gym and I was full heartedly planning on going to the gym and got dressed and did everything, but I kept thinking about this, this thing in the back of my mind, this presentation that I had, uh, a class discussion, if you will where I have to essentially teach my epistemology class for 40 minutes. Everyone has to do this, everyone has a different topic, and the topics are based on our readings for that week. Now, I knew that my topic was coming up in, you know, the relatively, you know, relatively soon. I knew that it was coming up in the near future. I just kept telling myself, oh, I got one more week, I got one more week, I got one more week, fully intending on making a really good project. I really wanted to come through and make sure that, um, well, that, that I delivered. I wanted to have a good class. I wanted to teach a good class with good material. And the topic that I had was based on a paper that studies family systems theory. And family systems theory is this theory that, um, that you cannot judge or study an individual based on personal qualities, but rather you have to examine their familial systems, their family, and see the emotional input and output that happens when engaging with your family, when engaging with your, your pack, if you will, uh, because so much of your personality is based off of experiences through growing up in your pack, in your household, within the confines of your family. So there's entire communal systems that are put in place within every single household that can be picked apart and studied and it's it's really cool stuff and you can really dive deep into psycho psychoanalyzation should you learn how to properly utilize this theory learn what makes people tick not based on you know maybe well yes i guess based on drives and motivations but where do they get those drives and motivations and what does their family have to do with it long story short that's what I had to write a presentation on. And I had to make sure that there were some sort of interactive elements in play. I wanted to have slides, I wanted to have videos. I was thinking about doing a YouTube video that kind of uh, corresponded well with the topic. Bottom line is, I woke up and I looked on the schedule and I realized that my reading is this week. It could tentatively be this morning. And so I freaked out because class starts at 11, that's fine, I had time, I was up at seven. So I had time to pull it together, but it wasn't going to be as quality as I wanted it to be. So I was freaking out. I was trying to frantically read through the reading and pick up the keywords. And I was texting my buddy and he told me that it isn't due until Thursday. He had some sort of sheet, which I failed to see. And it showed that I don't have to present till Thursday, today being Tuesday. So huge load off my shoulders. I was actually able to go to the gym. I was able to work out. I was able to get some fresh air. But what did I learn? I learned that I really can't afford to not be on top of my schedule. In grad school, I only have three to four courses, depending on how you want to count things. We'll say four courses. I only have four courses, uh, all of which take place on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's great because it's easy to remember, you know, when I have these courses, I have a very cyclical week, but then there are times where I just don't have the, um, well, I just don't have the assignments down. I have the assignments down and I have never let an assignment, you know, get overdue. I've never turned one in late. I've always been good about turning them in on time, but but yeah, some things just slip right under the radar and I can't afford to let that happen because just from gauging my entire state from earlier this morning, that is not something that I want to, um, that, that, it's not something that I want to deal with on a regular basis. And fortunately I don't because I have been on top of things, but as we draw closer to the end of the semester, it just kind of stresses the importance of staying on top of things because this is crunch time and this is where everything's coming down to the wire. So I have a schedule, I just need to be better at using it. And that is what I learned this morning. Okay, till next time.